This last one is kind of difficult, and I know it is, but... <sighs> so how do you deal with toxic people that you can't avoid? The first thing I'm gonna say is you have to be aware of the signs. These people show signs that they're toxic people, and a lot of the times you just care to ignore it. You should be aware of these five traits. Emotional manipulation. They could be trying to tie you to an event that has nothing to do with you. They could say that you make them feel some type of way. Extreme jealousy. Refusal to take responsibility for actions. This is a big one. If you notice that every single time you say something about them that's not necessarily the nicest thing, they don't want to take responsibility for their actions. That, that says something right there. Always playing the victim. It's always like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't, it wasn't me. A lot of these people like to play the victim instead of actually saying like, okay, let me recognize and realize that there's something wrong with me. The next thing you need to do is practice empathy. Not practicing empathy is not something that could be taught. Empathy is something that you must have. And that's my personal opinion. You need to be able to empathize with these people sometimes. A lot of the times people are going through something. Maybe there's a difficult problem in their life that they can't express fully because they're going through it mentally so much. They might not mean to be toxic. They might not mean to be a certain way towards you but they're gonna be acting that way regardless. So empathize with these people, but don't take it in. And that's when we get into the next step. Do not engage in any drama. A lot of the times these people will want you to engage in their drama and that's because they have nothing better to do than be toxic, than spread that energy. When you include yourself into this person's drama and into these people's dramatic, traumatic lives that they're trying to suppress, but oppress onto you. It's them just trying to spread their toxicity. Stay calm, breathe, and disengage from their toxic energy and their toxic environment they're trying to spread. Always remember that you deserve better. I, I know this isn't easy, right? You deserve better though. You don't deserve to be around these people. You deserve to be around positive, supporting people. If you feel like these people aren't doing that for you, don't feel like, oh, well, these are just my friends. These are friends that I've had for a long time, so I can't let go of them. You, you can let go of them. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good about yourself. I've had friends myself that I would put them onto my music or I put them onto something that makes me happy and they were never supportive. They never wanted to show me love and they weren't ever happy for me. If, if anything, they were more toxic and negative and they didn't support my movement. They, they wanted me to feel bad about it in some ways. You need to surround yourself with people who are positive, giving you positive energy 24 seven. This last one is kind of difficult and I know it is, but <sighs> cut them out of your life if necessary. I'm gonna say that one more time. Cut them out of your life if necessary. You don't need people who make you feel like crap. You don't need people who don't respect you. You don't need people who don't appreciate you for you and for what you love and for what you stand for. If there are people in your life who don't appreciate you for who you are, you need to cut them out of your life. It doesn't matter how long you've known that person. I've been friends with them since high school. Who cares? I made new friends yesterday. I made new friends in high school. You can make new friends 24 seven. So letting go of one person doesn't prevent you from meeting and making friends with another. Toxic people are just not worth it. And it might take a little bit of time and energy to be able to give yourself the balls to let go of certain people. But once you do it, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel so much better because you'll realize that in the end, letting go of those people help you grow. And when you let go of those people that helps you grow, that helps you turn into a whole different person. And now you know you don't need those people anymore. You just need yourself.